Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Our Channel Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. In today's video, I wanted to do another art challenge and this time I wanted to try out the realism challenge since so many of you guys requested it. The master of this challenge is of course Mark Crilly, who even has a complete book about it. So if you're interested in these types of challenges, you should definitely check him out if you haven't already. For my realism challenge, I decided to recreate the Sailor Moon watch that I got from my friend. And this is my second attempt recreating this watch, by the way. The first time, I didn't like it at all because everything was just way too off and I couldn't fix it. So I decided I will just try it again because I didn't want to give up. So I tried it again using the knowledge I gained from the first attempt. The first problem I had was to get the correct shape of this watch because it has this roundish angular shape and it was kind of difficult to figure out the perfect way to draw it without using too many guidelines. I wouldn't want to ruin the paper even more so I placed the watch onto the paper and edited guidelines this way. I think it's kind of cheating in this challenge but I thought if I already failed to create the shape properly. Maybe I can at least make it work when I paint the watch later. So I hope it's okay. The next problem I had to face was the angle I was looking at, the watch. So the camera angle you are seeing here is not the same angle I see while I'm drawing. So the reflections of the metal were totally different to me than you guys can see it on your screen. So what I did, I took a picture at around the same angle as my camera is set up and I used it as a reference. The next challenge I had to face was the right shade of color. Since the watch has these shiny yellow tone colors that were difficult to recreate, I used my watercolors and tried to pick and mix similar colors using yellow and brown. So I started with the base shade of yellow that I mixed with a little bit of brown and then I outlined a star shape and the first circle. And I must say, I got really confused with these circles later on because there were so many shadows and highlights that my eyes just got lost in the process. Then I went ahead and used a darker shade of brown to create the darker shadows, leaving out the areas that needs to be lighter. I tried to think of it as I would paint by numbers. If you watched one of my latest what to do when you feel bored videos, where I showed you guys this cupcake painting that was created just like that, it's kind of similar here too. I tried to focus on the highlights and shadows one by one and see them separately because I thought it would be a little easier and it actually was. At first I colored one triangle after another but in the end I just did it randomly as some areas were not dry yet or because I found I could fix or change something. For now I'm using only watercolors and thin brushes but it gets a little trickier later on so I will switch to watercolor pencils later as well. It was really difficult to create precise lines for the circles but as you look closely at the watch the lines don't look perfect either due to all the different reflections. For the top part of the watch it was really tricky too because I couldn't really see what color to add where so it was rather a guessing game but it looks okay so far. I rarely paint or draw realistically because you really need patience for that and usually I just want to have fun and create something loosely and more abstract. But after my first fail I realized I was just rushing too much and I just need to sit down and just take time to draw it properly. I wanted to recreate the watch as quickly as possible because I don't know, sometimes you just feel stressed inside or just feel like go go go, quick quick quick. But sometimes it's just way better to just relax, take some time and properly create something. You don't have to be into realistic drawing to do that, even if you just want to draw something abstract that has lots of details. It can be really relaxing and rewarding to just sit down and carefully work on your art piece. And for some reason I tend to forget that, I have mentioned this a couple of times in my videos, but 
it is still something I have to work on. Do you guys feel the same sometimes? Now for the centerpiece of the watch, I used watercolor pencils because it was easier to find the right color for that and to be more precise. The lines are still a little too thick, but I think they still look okay. I also wanted to recreate the reflection of my lights and my tripod because it's the way I positioned the watch, so I used my watercolor pencil again in a similar shade and lightly drew over the area where the glass is while leaving out the lighter areas. And then I used a tissue paper to lightly blend the lines. Now since I wasn't really happy with the reflection of the metal because it was too dark and not shiny enough, I used my white gel pen and went over all these areas to just brighten them up. And then I went back and forth adding more color and more highlights and more shadows. I think sometimes it's the best way to just go back and forth because Usually you discover things that might be wrong and that you can fix and in the end the whole piece comes together little by little. For the necklace chain itself I didn't want to paint it super detailed. I decided to focus on the beads and the shadows more because I thought this way it will automatically look more realistic than when I try to paint one piece of the chain at a time. So once I had the main things painted, I just went over everything again and added more details, changed some areas by adding more shadows or highlights. I also tried to mimic this shiny shadow on the paper that you can see on the left and the right side of the watch using a bright colored watercolor pencil. It was really difficult and I was worried I would just ruin everything, so I just lightly did that and stopped at some point to not overdo it. And that was the final result. I think overall it looks realistic despite the fact that the gold color shading is a little bit off. But I think if you look at it from far away, it looks pretty realistic. What do you guys think? Here you can see my first attempt and my second attempt. You can see the difference a lot. I will definitely try this challenge again because it's actually really fun and, and it also inspired me to take more time creating something and just to have fun even if it takes longer. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, it will mean a lot to me. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more arts and crafts related videos in the future and click on the bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!